Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni. Friends, in this video, we will discuss here 2015 question paper of English, paper 2. And the answers of this question paper is based on the answer key given provided by University of Mysore. And you can go through the website of University of Mysore and the link I mentioned in the description box. And also you can go through the link of my previous video of 2014, 2014 question paper. So let's begin it. So this is the question paper of 2015, paper English paper 2. So let's begin the question paper of uh, English paper 2, 2015. The question number one, question number one, which novelist did not belong to the 18th century? So answer is here, William Thackeray. So William Thackeray was an English novelist of the 19th century. He was famous for his satirical works, particularly uh, Vanity, uh, Vanity Fair, a uh, panoramic portrait of English society. So that means the, the, remaining, po the remaining poets, the remaining authors, Lawrence Stern and uh, Tobias and Samuel, Samuel Richardson, they all belong to 18th century. William Thackeray belongs to 19th century. Question number two. Which statement is not true about the authorized version of the, of the Bible? So which statement is not true? It was commissioned by King Henry VIII. So this is not a true statement. And the correct st uh, statements are here. The authorized version of the Bible uh, took nine years to complete. It took nine years to complete. It was proposed by the Hampton Court Conference of 1604. The translation was carried out by 47 different scholars. So now we need to match the list one to list uh, list one to list two. Stella is related to Jonathan Swift. Uh, Lucy is related to William Wordsworth. Julia is related to Robert Herrick. Mand is related to Alfred Tennyson. So that's a correct match. Now. Which of the following works by Samuel Bucket is not a drama? Beckett is not a drama. Melon dies. So there's not a drama here. That means to say remaining crap's last tape, waiting for Godot and Godot and end game. These are the dramas by Samuel Beckett. So let's have a brief glance about these works here. Waiting for Godot, Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett was published, performed in 1953. And it's one of the best works, dramatic works of 20th century. Next, Melon Dies. Melon Dies is a novel by Samuel Bucket, which was first published in 1951 in French language. Later, it was translated into English. Next, Crap's Last Tape. It's a 1958 one-act play in English by Samuel Bucket. Then End Game, again by Samuel, Samuel Bucket. It's a, it's an absurdist Tragic comic one play about a blind, paralyzed uh, elderly man. Now, question number five: Which of the following statement uh, statements uh, about statements about Salman Rushdie is not true? So, the incorrect statement about Salman Rushdie is here. The Moor's last sing is set in North Africa, so it's a wrong statement because the Moor's last sing was set in. Where was it set? It was set in the Indian cities of Bombay and Cochin. So the Moor's Last Singh is a fifth novel. Is the fifth novel by Salman Rushdie, which was published in 1995. And the Moor's Last Singh was set in the Indian cities of Bombay and Cochin. So Salman Rushdie is an Indian-born British writer whose allegorical novels examine historical and philosophical issues. He is best known for his novels, including Midnight's Children, Shame, and the Satanic Verses. And he was born in 1947 in Mumbai. His famous work, Midnight's Children, won the Booker Prize Award. And the Satanic Verses by Salman Rushdie, it was banned in India. Question number six. To which genre does Milton's commerce belong? So it belongs to Mask, M-A-S-K-E-Q-E. So commerce was influenced by a prior mask or uh, Aurelian townsheds, townsheds Tempe restored, which had been staged at the place at the palace of Whitehall in London in February 1632. Question number seven, which of the following did not win the Nobel Prize for Literature? 
So who has won? Derek Walcott, V.S. Naipaul, and uh, Winston Churchill. They have won the Nobel Prize for Literature. James Joyce did not win the Nobel Prize for Literature. So which, uh, which prize uh, had he won? James Joyce, who had won, uh, sorry, James Joyce is known for his experimental usage of language and exploration of new literary methods, including interior monologue, use of complex network of symbolic parallels, invented words, uh, puns, allusions in his novels, especially Ulysses and uh, Fingen's Wake. So here, James Joyce has not won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Derek Walcott, V.S. Naipaul, and Winston Churchill won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Next, question number eight. Question number eight, very interesting. Which of the following is not a character in the is not a character in the Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. So the mercer is not a character because the miller, the shipman, the partner, they are the characters in Canterbury Tales and we know very well. Uh, there are 30 pilgrims uh, accompanying Chaucer on the pilgrimage to Canterbury. Canterbury, And the Canterbury Tales consist of general prologue and the other prologues as well. Uh, other so many uh, tales as well. Now, let's move to the next question. Which novelist was born, lived in, and wrote about the industrial north of England? That is Elizabeth Gaskell. Elizabeth Gaskell was born, lived in, born in England, lived in England, and wrote about the industrial north of England. Elizabeth Gaskell. Question number 2. Ten, the the poet whose name is associated with fascism in the 1930s in the 30s is here Ezra Pound Ezra Pound the answer Ezra Pound which belongs to uh, whose name is uh, very much associated with the fascism in 1930s now you need to match the wife or beloved of those those author or the writer now Elizabeth Elizabeth Barrett Elizabeth Barrett was a wife of Robert Browning Robert Browning and Sylvia Path was a wife of Ted Hooks Barrett Ted Hook George Eliot George Eliot is a lover of George Lewis sorry no 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 sorry sorry um Elizabeth was the was the wife of Robert Browning, and uh, Sylvia Path was the wife of Ted Hooks, and uh, George Eliot, the lover of George Lewis, Dorothy Osborne, wife of William Temple. Okay, so to repeat, Elizabeth belongs to Robert Browning, Sylvia Path belongs to Ted Hooks, George Eliot belongs to George Lewis. Dorothy Osborne belongs to William Temple. Now, what do the following writers have in common? What do the following writers have in common? So there are four writers here, Thomas Kidd, uh, Cyril Thonier, John Webster, Thomas Middleton. So all those four writers, they all wrote revenge, revenge comedies, sorry, revenge tragedies. They all belong to revenge tragedies. Now, what is revenge tragedy? A revenge tragedy is a dramatic genre in which the protagonist seeks revenge for an imagined or actual injury. For an imagined or actual injury, injury. The term revenge tragedy was first introduced in nineteen in nineteen hundred by A. H. Thorndike. A. H. A. H. Thorndike. A. H. Thorndike to label a class of plays written in the late Elizabethan and early Jacobian. Eras, eras. So the revenge tragedy, the word is associated with with whom? With Thomas, sorry, with A. H. Thorndike. With A. H. Thorndike. Remember? Now the next question. Which of the following is an example of euphemism? Euphemism is the example of euphemism. Example is here: the spring, the head, the fountain of your blood. 
the fountain of your blood is stopped so these are they are the examples of euphemism okay then here some more uh, some more example is here um euphemism refers to those words or phrase that can be used to convey something unpleasant very sad very considered as taboo it is the art of communicating something in a less annoying and much lighter tone or in a very indirect manner so the expressions the spring the head the fountain of your blood is stopped is the example of euphemism euphemism so next one is here question number 14 in the opening of dickens bleak house charles dickens bleak house what weather phenomenon is used to symbolize the bleakness of the situation what's the weather phenomenon is here fog fog is the answer is here so bleak house by charles dickens is a very famous novel was published in it published as a 20 episode serial between march 1852 and september 1853 so how many episodes this novel has 20 episodes the novel has many characters and many subplots and is told partly by the novel's heroine esther esther summerson and partly by an omniscient narrator so one heroine acts as the summerson and the another narrator so both of them have uh, narrated it or told it in a in a chunks in chunks so totally bleak house has a 20 episodes so like this i have given some extra information about these questions which of the following state question number 15 which of the following statements about george bernard shaw is not true so first of all let's know about which is the correct information about george bernard shaw george bernard shaw was a fabian socialist george bernard shaw was a vegetarian george bernard shaw was a proponent of monarchy and one more inf important information is here george bernard shaw received nobel prize for literature in 1925 for his famous work saint john later he refused the award now which is not the right information the incorrect information is here he was a roman catholic that's not the correct information that's a false statement so he uh, he was awarded nobel prize for literature for his work saint john in 1925 and later he refused the award so that's about george bernard shaw question number 16 malcolm lowry uh, or the author of under the volcano belongs to canada he belongs to canada so under the under the under the, sorry under the volcano is a very masterpiece of malcolm lowry which was published in 1947 and reissued in 1962 next question number 17 the essay death of the author is associated with associated with which french critic the essay death of the author is associated with whom with the french philosopher french critic roland sorry roland barthes roland barthes and which was published 1967 1967 the death of author is written by the french author french philosopher roland roland barthes 18 question number 18 which of these writers did not commit suicide so f scott fitz uh, f f scott fitz gerald has not committed suicide that means the remaining writers committed suicide ernest hemingway kafka sylvia path they all committed suicide the the next question the poet laureate of england at present so this though this question paper belongs to 2015 so i would say that this question belongs to the year 2015 so in the year 2015 the poet laureate of england was carol and and carol and duffy but today the today this is 2023 so let's change this question the poet laureate of england of 2023 is simon armitage simon armitage simon or simon s i m o n a r m i t a g e 
Simon Armitage is the poet laureate of England, a poet laureate of UK of the year 2023. So this question is quite more expected, not in, not the same question in the other way for this year for 2023. Simon Armitage. Question number 20. So which poem of Keats begin with the line, a thing of beauty is a joy forever? So obviously, Endymion, spelling error in the question paper, Endymion uh, belongs to the line, a thing of beauty is a joy forever, a very famous phrase by John Keats. Question number 21. 21. Who said that Shakespeare approximates Shakespeare approximates a remote and familiarize the wonderful Dr. Johnson. Dr. Johnson has mentioned this quotation. Question number 22. Who is the author of the novels? So which are the novels are here? The Grass is Singing, The Golden Notebook, Memoirs of Survivor, The Sweetest Dream. So there are four novels. The Grass is Singing, The Golden, the golden Notebook, the, the Memoirs of Survivor, the sweetest dream and who is the author doris lessing doris lessing is the author and uh, there's one more question may be asked about doris lessing here that for which novel did did doris uh, doris lessing won the nobel prize for literature so the answer is here the golden notebook for golden notebook she received doris received nobel prize for literature in 207, that means to say 2007. Uh, to repeat, Doris Lessing received Nobel Prize for Literature for her book, Gold, The Golden Notebook, in the year 2007. Okay. Question number 23. Yen Martel. Yen Martel, Yen Martel, very famous person who wrote the, who wrote the book, uh, Life of Pi, a prize winning Nobel, uh, novel, Life of Pi. We have seen movies also. Movie also. Uh, it's a Canadian. Who is he? He's a Canadian writer. Canadian, sorry. Uh, Canadian writer. Canadian writer. Ian Martel is a Canadian writer who wrote the, the Life of Pi. Life of Pi. Booker Prize winning work. Next, we need to author of the authors of, of the book. So we need to here match the author and the work. So to begin with, Ellen. Schalter, Ellen Schalter refers to a literature of their own. First, Ellen Schalter refers to literature of their own. Second, Cat Millet. Cat Millet, sexual politics. Sexual politics. Cat Millet, he refers to sexual, sexual politics. Next, John Stewart. John Stewart. The subjection of women. The subjection of women. Just a minute. Let me correct here. The subjection of women. John Stewart. Mary Ellum. Mary Ellum. He refers to obviously the last one. Thinking about women. So uh, thinking about women. So a literature of their own. Ellen Schalter. Uh, sexual politics. Cat Millet. Then now there's a tie between these two. Uh, John, so we will say subjection of women, John Stewart. Thinking out women, Mary Ellen. So, uh, sorry, Mary Elman. Now, question number 25. Which is not a work by Joseph Conrad? So Joseph Conrad has written Nigger of the Narcissus, Lord Jim, The Secret Agent, these are the works of Joseph Conrad, and he has not written the, the, the work, The Longest Journey. Now, who has written Longest Journey here? Um, yes, it's written by E.M. Foster. The Longest Gen Journey is written, it's a novel written by E.M. Foster. The Longest Journey is written by E.M. Foster, and the remaining are written by Joseph Conrad. So now, who is Joseph Conrad? Joseph Conrad was a Polish British novelist and a short story writer. He is regarded as one of the greatest writers in, in the English language, though he did not speak English fluently until his 20s. But he came to be regarded as a master prose stylist who brought a known English sensibilities, non-English 
sensibility into english literature and joseph conrad uh, he is very much known for his novels lord jim uh, nostromo the secret agent and the most famous is here the heart of darkness 1902 by joseph conrad and the longest journey is written by e m foster hope i am able to give you some plenty of information 26 question number 26 of all english verse forms blank verse so of all the english verse forms which is most closest to the natural rhythms of english speech the blank verse is the most closest to the natural rhythms of english speech why because the blank verse refers to poetry which is written in unrhymed but it has a meter it has a metric it has a metered lines and almost always having the iamb uh, having the iambic pentameter Me unrhymed but metered lines and almost always iambic pentameter so next let's understand these three uh, another figures of speech also literary wo works in literary uh, key elements also free verse free verse obviously the word itself says free verse any form of poetry that does not rely or on any kind of consistent pattern of rhyme or meter that's called free poetry next we have here rhyme royal rhyme royal rhyme royal means to say the the rhyme royal stanza consist of seven lines using iambic pentameter and the rhyming scheme is here ab ab bc c so that's our rhyme royal seven lines then verse libre verse libre what is this verse libre spelling error verse libre uh, liberated french poetry it here refers to the liberated french poetry from its traditional prosod uh, from its traditional prosodic prosodic rules in verse libre uh, the basic metrical unit is the phrase rather than a line of a fixed number of syllables and that was quite traditional in french versification since the middle age so very simple i will say will say here so it uh, uh, the phrase is more considered the unit is considered as a phrase than the line of a, of any kind of fixed number of syllables so this is quite extra information now who among the following is not known for his interpretation of hamlet's character from a freudian point of view so who is not uh, who is known who among the following is known for his interpretation so ernest jones has done the interpretation of hamlet's character from which point of view from the freudian point of view next we need to match here the subtitles the subtitles of novels or the particular plays etc the subtitles so what is the subtitle of the uh, the importance of being earnest the subtitle of importance of being earnest is here a trivial comedy for serious people let me tell you let just have a look at the answer also the shaded one all the uh, one are the answer one is the answer so the importance of the subtitle of the work importance of being earnest is a trivial comedy of serious people the subtitle of 12th night answer is here what you will the subtitle of 12th night is here what you will test of the d abervilles uh, that is a subtitle is here a pure woman a pure faithfully presented a pure woman faithfully presented and obviously frankenstein frankenstein subtitle is here the modern prometheus so it's very interesting many examination in my previous video also i have seen 2014 there was a question about frankenstein obviously he relates to the modern prometheus so to repeat the subtitle the subtitle of the importance of being is here a trivial comedy for serious people subtitle of 12th night is what you will subtitle of the test of the Uh, a bevelage is a pure woman faithfully presented and undoubtedly the subtitle of frankenstein frankenstein is here the modern prometheus the modern prometheus so one or two if you know obviously we can match those list one to list list one to two now 
question number 29 raymond williams is associated associated with marxism raymond williams is associated with the term marxism now we are going to have some more extra information who is associ associated with the term new historicism stephen greenblatt stephen greenblatt is associated with new historicism historicism and neo humanism neo humanism uh, irving irving babbitt irving babbitt and paul elmer moore Irwin Babbitt and Paul Elmer Moore is associated with neo humanism. Then, uh, deconstruction theory obviously, we uh, very much well known. Uh, Jacques Derrida and Paul de Man. Derrida and Paul de Man are associated with deconstruction term. So, Raymond Williams is associated with Marxism. Now, what is Alexandrine? Alexandrine is a line of six iambic feet. Okay, to repeat, Alexandrine is a line of six iambic feet. Now, what do you call a stanza of six rhyming lines? Six lime, six rhyming line, uh, rhyming line stanza is called sestet. We know octave eight and sestet six. Stanza of six unrhyming lines. That's called here sestina. Sestina, please do correct. If my answers are wrong, uh, I would uh, I request you to write in the comment box where if I given any wrong answer, that's going to help us mutually. Uh, stanza of six unrhyming lines means to say the Sestina, S-E-S-T-I-N-A. Then the last one, a metrical foot with three stressed syllables. That is called tactile, D-A-C-T-Y-L dactyl or dactyle so so line of six iambic uh, iambic feet alexand uh, alexandrine and uh, stanza of six rhyming lines uh, sestate stanza of six unrhyming lines lines sestina and a metrical feet foot with three stress syllables are called as the dactyle now let me give you some more extra information is here uh, if there's a one foot that is called monometer If there's one foot that is called monometer, two foot diameter, three foot uh, trimeter, four foot tetrameter, five feet, uh, sorry, one foot diameter, uh, sorry, one, one foot obviously monometer and two feet diameter, DI, three feet trimeter, TRI, four feet tetrameter, five feet pentameter, six feet hexameter. 7 feet heptameter, hefta, H E P T A, 8 feet, obviously, octameter. Okay, so this is basic information about meter and um, rhyming or the, stress, uh, the stressed syllables. So now again, we need to match here the works, the book, and the author. So list one refers to the author. Sorry, list one refers to the books and the list two refers to author. Nation and narration. Who has written Nation and Narration? Homi Bhava. Nation and Narration is written by Homi Bhava. In Theory. In Theory is written by Ajaz Ahmed. In Theory is written by Ajaz Ahmed. Imagery Homeland. Imagery Homeland is written by Salman Rushdie. Marxism and Literary Criticism is written by Terry Eagleton. So, so to repeat, Nation and Narration by Homi Bhabha, In Theory, Ajaz Ahmed, Imagery Homelands, written by Salman Rushdie, then Marxism and Literary Criticism by Terry Eagleton. So let's move on to the next question, number 32. John John Murray. John Murray uses uh, which pseudonym? Pseudonym means to say a kind of pen names, a duplicate name or the other name. So John Murray uses the pseudonym of J.K. Rowling. So pseudonym of J.K. Rowling is John Murray is the pseudonym of J.K. Rowling. So now let's understand the other 
the other uh, authors, other poets, pseudonym also. George Eliot's pseudonym is here, Mary Ann Evans. A.M. Bernard's pseudonym is here, Louisa May Alcott. And J.D. J.D. Robb, J.D. Robb pseudonym is here. J.D. Robb pseudonym is here. J.D. Robb pseudonym is here. Nora Roberts. Okay. So, George Eliot pseudonym, Mary Ann Evans. A.M. Bernard pseudonym, Louisa May Alcott. And J.D. Robb pseudonym is here, Nora Roberts. And one more, I would like to add here. George Orwell's pseudonym is Eric Arthur Blair. So, in many questions, uh, this question is asked here. What is the pseudonym of George Orwell? Eric Arthur Blair. And moreover, I have already uh, I have already uh, mentioned the link of the pen names, link the Wikipedia link of those pen names of the pseudonym in the description. So for more reference, you can just click on that link. It will take you to the to the list of pseudonyms. Now, question number thirty three. So to repeat, uh, John Murray is the pseudonym of J.K. Rowling. Now, Orunoko, Orunoko, the royal slave. Is written by Afra Ben. Afra Ben Orunoko, the royal slave. Royal slave is written by Afra Ben. Now, who is Afra? Afra has earned her place in the history books because she's the first English woman to earn a living as a professional writer. Remember, Afra Ben is the first English woman to earn a living as a professional writer and the Orunoko, Orunoko, the royal slave is written by Afra Ben. Question number 34. About which author did Nirat C. Chaudhary remark that he will be read by everyone who wants to know not only British India, but also timeless India. So Nirat C. Chaudhary has spoken about Rudyard Kipling, sorry, Rudyard Kipling. Generally in Hindi, they call Rudyard Kipling. So Rudyard Kipling. So Chaudhary, Niras Chaudhary has written about Rudyard Kipling. Next question number 35. A stressed syllable followed by two unstressed syllables is called as a dactyl. As we have discussed earlier also, a stressed syllable which is followed by two unstressed syllables is called here dactyl. Now what is trochi? T-R-O-C-H-E, trochi or trochi. Trochi or trochi means to say it's a metrical food consisting of a stressed syllable followed by an unstressed syllable. Okay, then uh, anapest. Anapest, it's a kind of a food or a beat in a line of poetry which consists two unstressed syllables followed by followed by one stressed syllable. So all of them look very similar, but it has three syllable, so we can also call it a triple meter. I am. Iam or Iam or Iam. It's a metrical food consisting of an of an unaccent, unaccented syllable followed by an un, uh, followed by ex, unaccented syllable followed by the accented syllable. Now, thirty six question number thirty six. Identify the autobiographical autobiographical work that contributed to the development of the architecture archetypical sorry uh, archetypal school of criticism that is golden the golden bow the golden bow here refers to the archetypal school of criticism so let's know about uh, the golden bow the golden bow refers to archetypal school of criticism and the ballard criticism here the quest for myth by robert chase this quest for myth by robert chase is, is belongs to Ballard criticism. Now, in tradition and the individual talent written by T.S. Eliot, it offers a critic of romantic position. It offers a critic of romantic position. Then question number 38, the title of D.H. Lawrence, the rainbow symbolizes, what does it symbolize? It symbolizes, it symbolizes uniting the principles of heaven and earth. So the title of D.H. Lawrence, The Rainbow, symbolizes the uniting principles of heaven and earth. And the original title, let me give you some more extra information about The Rainbow. The original title of The Rainbow by D.H. Lawrence is Sisters, The Sisters. Remember, 
the original title of dh lawrence famous work the rainbow is here the sisters second one more answer we have here um there's one more one more work ursula brangwen is a principal character of the two novels then the rainbow 1915 woman in love in 1920 and uh, in the in the work in the rainbow ursula is a school teacher who is in love with anton the son of a polish emigre he proves to be too conventional for ursula and at the end of the novel she is alone so that might quite minor information but the major information is here about the rainbow the subtitle of rainbow is here the it is here the sisters the original title next the beam so reverent the beam so reverent reverent the beam so reverent and strong why should us thou think i could eclipse and cloud them with a wink now which figure of speech obviously hyperbole is here so no need to say more i already given the information about oxymoron metaphor simile in the in my previous question paper 2014 the book the prison house of language is authored by whom frederick jemson the prison house of language is, is written by frederick jemson question number 41 the first critic to theorize on feminism among the following was a uh, simon d beauvoir beauvoir simon d beauvoir was the first critic who had theorized the feminism next spencerian uh, sorry spencerian stanza spencerian stanza how many lines it consists nine lines remember miltonic is different and we have miltonic stanza also but Spen uh, spencerian stanza spencerian stanza consists how many lines it consists here nine lines and it is coined by whom edmund spencer and he has used the those spencerian stanza in his famous epic poem the fairy queen and each stanza contains nine lines in total eight lines in the iambic pentameter followed by a single line that is called alexandrine in an iambic hexameter and the rhyming scheme is here ab ab bc bc c so edmund spencer his famous work fairy queen where the nine lines have been applied so moving to the question number 43 so we are coming to the end another 10 uh, seven questions to go the omniscient point of view is what is the omniscient point of view the omniscient point of view is here the third person of point of view omniscient point of view means the third person of point of view question number 40 44 the sea of poppies is written by amitav ghosh question number 45 james joyce ulysses is modeled on which it's modeled on odyssey homer's odyssey so james joyce ulysses is 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 on the model of homer's odyssey so james joyce has divided ulysses into 18 episodes we should remember 18 episodes and homer's odysseys is divided into 24 books or sections so remember odyssey in 24 books or 24 sections james joyce ulysses is based on homer's odyssey and ulysses is written in 18 episodes now question number 46 in jane in jane austen's famous novel emma emma where to whom does she marry emma marry emma marries mr knightley mr knightley he she marries she marries to she marries with mr knightley then w eats leda and the swan is based on which mythology obviously greek mythology so question number 48 wordsworth argues that there is no essential difference between the language of prose and the metrical composition question number 49 courage he said pointed towards a land in this opening line of tennyson's lotus eaters he refers to ulysses so these are the opening lines of alfred tennyson's lotus eaters and in these opening lines uh, uh, El, sorry alfred tennyson refers to iliad uh, sorry refers to ulysses james joyce ulysses 
Now the last question we have here, the grave is fine, the grave is a fine, a private place, but none, I think, do their embrace. So these witty lines occur in which poem? It occurs in to his coy, to his coy mistress. To his coy mistress, written by Andrew Marvel, written by Andrew Marvel, and Lysidas, written by, obviously, um, John Milton, The Tiger by, jo by William Black, and Sunny Rising by John Dunn. Okay, so to his coy mistress is written by whom? Andrew Marvel and these lines, the grave is fine and a private place, but none, I think, do the their embrace. Taken from famous poem of Andrew Marvel to his coy mistress. So friends, like this, I have tried to solve the case, uh, case set question paper of 2015, English paper 2. If you have any suggestions or if you want to correct any answer, feel free to correct. There may be some mistake. And please do mention if any kind of correction in the comment box. It's a mutual, uh, I would say, it's a mutual exchange of knowledge. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the channel, subscribe the channel, click on the like button right in the comment box. Thank you so much.